Hi everyone, thanks for bringing back. I have used um, Distress Oxides, Crack Pistachio, Broken China, Fossilized Amber, and Warm Lipstick. And I don't have the uh, regular tool, so I just used some um, paint bottles that I have, and I put some Velcro over the top and bought the little sponges and used them. And then using the Distress Oxide inks, I just covered the whole paper. I now have a Darice Peacock. I don't know how well you can see. It is a Peacock embossing folder. And I'm using the part that sticks up, which would be this side here. I'm going to ink it and try to transfer it onto my inked paper. And I have no idea how this is going to look. Just wanted to have a little bit of fun. And I'm using it as a stamp. And it's going to look a little grungy because it's not going to transfer completely and it's going to transfer some places where there is no of the embossing. And this one is Peacock Feather. It's just regular Distress Ink. It's not the oxide. This is what it looks like. I can find a really large um, text stamp, so I'm using this one that says, All I Have Seen teaches me to trust the creator for all I have not seen. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I think my ink pad is starting to dry out, so I'm not really sure how much ink I'll be able to get. I'm just putting it behind me. Let's see if I can attach it on here or not. I'm not sure. That. This is lemon zest of the dilutions paint, and the stencil is from the Crafters Workshop by Rhonda Palazzari Designs. I'm not sure what the actual design on this one is called, but this is what it looks like. And I thought it would be pretty to sponge some of this lemon zest paint through the stencil. I'm just trying to center it up. This stuff goes on so nice and smooth. Much better than ink, but it's because it has a lot more moisture in it. love this pretty color. This is the only color of this Dilutions paint that I have. I don't have any others of this product. You don't really see too much of a difference. It's pretty subtle. I want to see this uh, Catherine Fuller 2D3D ink. I want to see if I would be able to stamp this and get a transfer on there. I'm not really sure. And I'm trying not to push too hard. I don't want to puncture the ink pen, obviously. It is a really hot day again here in Martinsville, Ohio. 
90s. So I'm inside where it's nice and cool because I can't take the heat very well. This is one of my favorite colors of Catherine Fuller's inks. It's a really beautiful orange shade. I don't know if I told you this is just a base for perler beads to create shapes before you put them in the oven and cook it. But I like the dots that it gives me on my art projects. And I use it with ink and with uh, acrylic and also with gesso. Next thing I'm going to do is add some black paint over the very same stencil that I used with lemon zest. I just want to check and see what it's going to look like over this little section that I've done, just to make sure that I do want to do the whole thing. Yes, I really like it. All right. This is what it looks like with that. Now this area here, you can see it had a bit much of the uh, black ink, and I think it's very, very pretty. Sorry. This area right here, you can see extra ink so it mushed it. I don't know if you can still see the detail of the uh, peacock. It's raining and storming outside right now. It's the peacock's head with a little plumage on the top. Okay. I do want to do a few other things. I'm not quite sure yet what. I'm going to get another stencil. I want to do... Let me see if I've got my credit card. So this is another stencil that I received from APG Jamie, Jamie Lynn. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down, shake up my gesso, lay some out, load up my credit card, and then just add it on. You can hear the birds in the background there in my daughter's room. She's on vacation right now in South Carolina at Myrtle Beach, and they're feeling a little bit lonely. I used to her spending time with them when she's not working. The reason I like to videotape when I'm creating art is sometimes I really like certain steps of something that I've made, and then sometimes I take it one step too far. Like it could be possibly that this would be the step too far. And if I really liked what I created up until this point, I could rewatch my video and know exactly what I need to do to get to the place where I was happy with what I've made initially. It'll probably take till overnight for the gesso to dry after I'm done adding it. So I won't be able to do anything else until tomorrow to this one. But I do want to make some more of my bookmarks that I like to um, pass out as a way to advertise my channel. So I'm thinking that a lot of these steps, the colors and all, I really like how they turned out. So I'm thinking I will incorporate those into the bookmarks that I would like to make now. And I realize I'm going to be getting just over on that side. I'm not really concerned about that one particular edge. All right. And I'm hoping that this is not going to tear because it's been on for a little while. And it is a little bit. There we go. I'm going to move it down. And know that it would go back over. So I'm just going to start from the top. And then just continue. And I do love the way those colors look together. And the gesso will be able to hold and do some resist if I add any sprays or any other colors to it. So it will give it some more interest. I was hoping I'd be able to get out and try to work on a chicken coop today, but just as I was about ready to get out there, it started storming with some lightning and thunder and crazy heavy rains with like five, ten gallons of water pouring off the roof in a minute. It's pretty much stopped for now. It's just basically sprinkling now, but it gets really crazy with the rain out here sometimes. I love it too. I'm going to stand out there and enjoy it. <laughs> the nice cool breeze that comes with it. I love it. I'm sure my chickens didn't. They ended up hiding under the chicken tractor parts that are out there in the yard. 
that's the only shelter they currently have. There we go. I'm gonna go wash this. I'll be back in a minute. Hey everyone, it's Roberta. I'm back. This is all dried up now. There are a couple places where you could see that it kind of pulled up from the stencil drying on the paper so it pulled layers up, but overall you can't tell. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use this to make my bookmarks. And so this is going to be one side, and then this is the other side, and this will be the one that I'll uh, print on when I send the whole thing through the laser printer. So for now, I just want to go ahead and add some color. And I'm just going to use the uh, distressing to kind of recreate similar um, coloration and design that I did on the front. So I'm just going to use you know, these are the sponges that we use. I'm not sure exactly the color I want to use this time. I want to do a little bit different. This is what they buy with. Practice issue. I'm not really sure I don't want to do, I'll just do this. And a bit of fiber cut. Just look it on. Let the uh, ink do its thing. And then just pick it up. I'm going to disguise. This is going to be what I'm going to send for the printer. And this will have my YouTube channel information. And then this will just be the free side. And I'll lay my ink and come up. And that's what we're going to do. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a blessed day.